battle on the southern front in Ukraine, the village of Zaporizhia has become the latest casualty amidst fierce fighting. The Ukrainian counteroffensive, launched earlier this month, continues to press forward with small but significant advances, while Russian forces deploy effective defensive strategies in the southern region. The relentless determination of Ukrainian troops has resulted in the successful recapture of Piatikaki, a village situated in the western part of the Zaporizhia region. Oh! Foreign officials in the partially occupied Zaporizhia region, including the notable Vladimir Ragov, have confirmed that Ukraine has gained operational control over the settlement. However, the resolute Russian troops are not backing down as they attempt to counterattack using relentless shelling. Despite experiencing significant losses, Ukraine's tenacious wave-like offensives have yielded notable results. According to intelligence assessments from the United Kingdom, Zaporizhia has become the epicenter of some of the most intense and unforgiving battles since the initiation of the counteroffensive. Simultaneously, clashes continue to ravage the city of Bakhmut and the eastern Donetsk region. Ukrainian forces exhibit unwavering determination in pushing forward in these areas, resulting in modest territorial gains. Conversely, Russian forces have proven their mettle by executing relatively effective defensive operations throughout southern Ukraine. Curiously, the daily update from the Russian Defense Ministry failed to mention the recapture of Piatikaki, focusing instead on repulsing Ukrainian attacks in three distinct sections of the front line. Russian forces have intensified their offensive efforts in the regions surrounding Bakhmut, Abdivka Marinka, and Lyman in the Donetsk region, culminating in 26 recorded combat clashes. Russian President Vladimir Putin, in an unprecedented move, addressed the ongoing battle, describing the southern front as the epitome of brutality. Putin aimed to deride the Ukrainian push by asserting that the forces of Kiev stood no chance, even with the recent acquisition of Western tanks. His comments were carefully crafted to reassure the Russian populace during this critical juncture. Meanwhile, Ukraine seeks to dismantle the prolonged deadlock and reclaim the territories that remain under Russian control. Ukraine's Deputy Defense Minister, Hanna Malir, candidly acknowledged that the true turning point in Kiev's counter-offensive campaign against Russian forces has yet to materialize. She conceded that the operation poses formidable challenges, given Moscow's relentless commitment to impede Ukraine's progress at any cost. The Ukrainian military's long-anticipated counteroffensive commenced two weeks ago, with the primary objective of reclaiming territories occupied by Russian forces. However, reports emanating from the front lines suggest that Ukrainian forces have encountered slow progress and staunch resistance from their Russian counterparts. In stark contrast, Moscow officials assert that the Ukrainian offensive has already faltered. Meanwhile, Ukrainian officials have remained tight-lipped about the details of the campaign, opting to maintain a veil of secrecy. Monday brought a glimmer of hope for the Ukrainian military, as they proudly announced a series of small victories in eight liberated villages, effectively reclaiming an impressive expanse of approximately 113 square kilometers, 70 square miles, of previously occupied territory. Despite this triumph, the crucial and decisive blow in the conflict is yet to be delivered. <laughs> Verification of military operations within the most fiercely contested areas along the front line remains a daunting task. 
However, Deputy Defense Minister Hannah Muller confidently stated that Ukrainian troops have made significant advances during the initial phase of the counteroffensive. Notably, Ukrainian forces appear to be gaining ground in their relentless push towards the eastern city of Bakhmut, renewing hopes of reclaiming this strategic stronghold that has been fiercely contested for months. Recent developments have cast a spotlight on the city of Donetsk, where foreign forces are reportedly making notable gains. Russian military bloggers have voiced their concerns regarding the advancing Ukrainian forces along the northern and southern flanks of the city. In a surprising turn of events, Russian troops have relinquished control of the key outpost at Klishivka, leaving Bakhmut vulnerable to the assault and firmly under the fire control of the Ukrainian armed forces. As the battle unfolds, the situation remains fluid and both sides continue their military operations with high stakes involved. The conflict in southern Ukraine persists, with the Ukrainian forces striving to reclaim their territories and the Russian forces aiming to maintain control.